Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. Julie, welcome everybody. And Norman. Oh, Norman. Of yes, of course. It wouldn't be a live stream without this little gay. Yeah, of course. Um, well, everybody, thank you so much for, um, we're going to start off with a thank you. Uh, thank you for making our tournament such a, uh, a rousing success this year. Um, it's this been has, a week. It has been um, a full week with uh, I checked some of the numbers and I'll talk about them in a little bit, but, uh, let's just say we're up, uh, what we did last year in terms of views, literally times 300. Hey, so we'll take it. Pretty impressive. Uh, we've, we've been, uh, we've had some ups and downs of course in, uh, in tasting the actual and, tournament. and the actual tournament. Um, were there ads turned on for this video? It looks like there were. Sorry, everybody. Um, we don't usually put them on live streams. It must've been toggled. That was unintentional. So sorry about that. Um, well, make a note to not let that happen again. Uh, anyways, we're here. You're here. If you are here, welcome. Um, yeah. we got a lot of folks here already. A lot of people, it seems like the people that are doing real well in the brackets are showing up pretty excited and talking about maybe a Katie Turk out there, uh, maybe a Matt H, maybe even a Ruby, I know. uh, doing well. Ivan's here. Welcome Ivan. Uh, it's good to see everyone. Ken V as well. Tim Robertson, howdy, and uh, I'm pretty sure Ken V's doing pretty good in uh, my bracket. One or both, we'll know by the end of the night, and we'll yeah. have we will be doing an update here um, before long. And I did figure out how to update scores yeah. in real time, so as we go along, you'll know exactly where you stand as quickly as we get yeah. these things figured out. So, uh, Bill Becker's here. Uh, cheers and welcome. We are just starting to warm up tonight. Yep. Um, we kind of got this all started just in the nick of time. Yeah, and I just want to point out, because I did last uh, live stream as well, I had my one Christmas shirt on. I mentioned I had two Christmas shirts. This is my favorite Christmas shirt. You can't really see it because the cat's actually in the way of, of the cat. And I lost my microphone. There goes the microphone. Yeah. Well, we don't need that anyways. Um, so we're uh, we're just warming up here tonight, getting ready to go, because we've got such bizarre matchups that we decided it was a good idea to start with a warm up. Yes. And uh, that means that we're drinking uh, Driftless Glen. We are. A little 96 proof single barrel bourbon from Festival Foods, Wisconsin bourbon chosen by a Wisconsin grocery store. So I like it. Pretty good stuff. It's interesting. Tastes like uh, roasted, unsalted Honey roasted peanuts nuts is with, what I got. With the shells. With the shells, exactly. <laughs> Which is quite different than I think uh, I got last time. But. Yeah, this has been, yeah. this bottle's changed a lot. Well, it is Whiskey Wednesday. Cheers to you, Jeff Perkins. Um, what's the drink, drink list out there? Yeah, what are you guys drinking? Bardstown Fusion 5 for Matt. That sounds pretty good. Um, I don't think I could do much worse on Phil's bracket. Yeah, Ivan, you're at the bottom of mine, but I don't think you're doing too bad <laughs> on Julie's. I, I actually, I haven't uh, been keeping up. Last year, I was able to keep up a lot better because there were 40 total brackets. This year, there's 300, yeah. and it's a little tougher to, to hang in there. Um, Pikesville Rye for Ruby, that sounds delicious. I just splashed some in my eye. You all right? Do you need the towel? Nope, I'm good. Throwing in the towel it, it already was just, tonight? Uh, it was an unfortunate accident. How did you there. do that? I picked up my glass and it just... Just tossed it in. Tossed it in instead of you went this one instead of that one. Well, thank goodness it was the 96 proofer and not yeah. one of the 120 plus proofers. It's we're not going to hurt my vision tonight. though, because that's already yeah, baseline at the bottom. Julie can't see anything anyways, <laughs> which is how she wound up with me. <laughs> Melissa's here. Cheers, Melissa. Bill Becker's drinking the Compass Box Hedonism. Mm. That sounds very sultry. Regs is here. Greetings to you, Regs. I like that. You said that that uh, sounded sultry. Hedonism? Yeah, I Little like it. sultry. I like it. David's here. Cheers, David M. Not drinking yet, but soon. Um, oh, this sounds pretty good right here from Jeff. Doing a Redwood Empire flight, mm. Lost Monarch, Grizzly Beast, and some Haystack Needle. When we were in California, I looked all over the place. Yep. Didn't see any special bottles from Redwood. So tell us how that Grizzly Beast and the Haystack Needle are. Yeah. Very curious about those. Daryl says his bracket's <laughs> busted pretty good. We want to encourage everybody, keep at it. Stick with it. As long as you got like w at least one going forward, you got a chance. Last year, every round, <laughs> like every matchup of the entire thing was only worth like one point. Yeah. This year, each round is uh, successively worth more points. So yeah. um it, it could go any direction. I mean, if the folks that are sitting on top with a lot of them right now, if they don't have the right ones going forward, I think there's a lot of attrition already, but I think there's a lot more to come. So yeah. um, that's part of the fun, we'll right? See. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, it's been pretty, uh, pretty crazy already. Things that I did not anticipate sliding through to that second round. No. Well, and some unfortunate matchups. Some unfortunate well. matchups. Yeah, yeah. We, we talked about that the last couple of days in this tournament. Yeah. How there's some bottles that got through to the second round that if they had been matched up against almost anything else, mm -hmm. they wouldn't be there. Octomore 10. That's just a flex. That's, that's a great name. To, <laughs> Tim's watching at the gym again. Love it. All right. Well, we'll take our time so that you can catch up with us. How about that? Yeah. I know the first match is a good one. David's scanning the QR codes on Julie's sweater. Let us know if it links to anything. You want to show them your sweater? Wait, is it? Oh, no, those are snowflakes. It kind of, kind sure. of looks like QR codes, though. That would be amazing. What if it did? Actually, that could be really dangerous. I don't think we want to know. Because who knows where that would link. Yeah, it's a, um, this was my, uh, this was a gift. Actually, did you buy this for yourself? I bought it for myself for $7, I'll have yeah. you know. And like yeah, most if That's Christmas the one that I always tell you if there's a fire. De just take it off immediately. Oh yeah, uh, that's no, you'll you'll combust. Yeah, it's like most things that cost seven dollars. The most unfortunate fabric. Yeah, doesn't flex real well. But it is adorable for this time of, for the tournament and this time of year. Ivan's got a Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof that always hits the spot. Tom, you said it. It's absolutely Phil and Julie time. Why not? Steve Roberts got himself an Elijah Craig straight rye. He's doing. Doing it up. Everybody's doing it tonight. Looking I love good it out there, everyone. Um, this is it. Uh, I I know you're gonna kind of go into where we've where we've been. Yes. I can't believe it's only been seven days. Eight. Uh, well, today's the well, today's eight. eight. Yeah. yeah. You're right. But we do have some fun matchups. I will say. Yeah. It's disappointing almost that they're matched up together. Like we said, we've had some unfortunate matchups where we're like, we don't want to see them go, and then other ones slide through. I feel like our yeah. first matchup today. Is one of those. I totally agree. And you know, speaking of those matchups, um, that benchmark foolproof that went away yesterday, mm -hmm. man, that is that's one of those bottles. That uh, that one, if with the right matchups, if it would have been say in bracket one, we would be seeing it in round three or maybe even four. I know that is a that was a good one. So um, yeah, it might be. What can you uh, do? Might be. What can you do? Yeah. I know. Bourbon of the week is here. Cheers to hey, you, cheers. Chris. Welcome. Chris had the same idea as us. He did a Stag Junior video hey, as well good, today. I was going to say, good five. Yeah. I mean, literally, Phil walked in the door and like yelled from like when he walked uh, in. He's like, wait till you see what wait, I got today. Wait, don't, <laughs> don't count the bottles. Just look at the one that I show you. Yeah. It's important. Um, David says he took the scan, the QR code, and it was, uh, oh. how about that? Hey. Thank you so much, David. Good tip. Thank you. Yeah, hot oh. tip right there. Yeah, hot yeah, tip. Everybody okay. scanned the QR code. Uh, <laughs> That's fantastic. I love it. Um, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't watched our Stag Junior video today, uh, check it out. That's probably the last bottle that's going to have the Junior suffix on it. So uh, um, we weren't going to do any other videos this week, but that bottle fell in our lap, and we thought the people need to know if it's worth, you know, going crazy for. I needed to know. Yeah, and it is. <laughs> so, uh, cheers, David. Thank you very much. Can we go back to the well of foolproof, Phil? Mm. Oh man, I wish everybody could try that uh, Rocktown. I wish everybody could try a lot of this stuff at Rocktown because I actually really thought that distillery had something special. Huge flavors. They're, I mean, like I said in that video, those those whiskeys are wrecking machines. Yeah, I will. We ha we tried a couple different samples at Rocktown. You liked the one that was in the is in the competition. I really liked the bottle of bond. I thought that was really delicious. Probably the bottle we should have brought. And home. then we had some crazy ones. Like there was <laughs> one that had it like what was the the chocolate malt or whatever. There was like jalapenos in it. It was nuts. Anyway, yeah. they they do unique, interesting flavors there for sure. Yeah, that chocolate malt one was so much jalapeno, so much genuine, real like actual jalapeno pepper flavor. Yeah. I've never had anything like it. Um, I, it was I, really good. I do want to say, going back to the Weller foolproof, I have been surprised and pleased by your choices so far this competition. It's you. Somebody it's add this up for us at some point if you have a lot of time. How many times Julie has said she's disappointed? Well, no, because it's been just, more than just when saying pleased with surprise does not mean I've been disappointed. Because like you, I feel feel like you've taken some like crazy turns, but you know you're sticking true to what you like instead of well, it's what you like. What I like, think, like we said, uh, 
we said yesterday we're looking for exciting flavors. We're looking yeah. for things that take us someplace that you might that get, are special. You get real excited. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, then we did say about that one. Uh, I'm trying to think of what it was. It takes you someplace, but why would you want to go there? Yeah. I don't remember which one that was, but um, that's uh yeah, I don't know. It's it's this tournament is an interesting time because bottles that I thought would just take off completely stymied. And you know, bench yeah. benchmark is I keep going back to it because it really surprises me. It surprised me how good it was, mm -hmm. but then it surprised me that that a bottle that was 35 proof points less yeah. took it down because the flavors were just so huge. That Frey Ranch sleeper really well, solid bottle and sorry for spoiling things for folks that haven't caught up on all the videos oh no i mean it's, fine. <laughs> it's why we're here tonight to discuss it and by I the know. way before i forget next wednesday right we're doing the same thing yes with another matchup next week so we'll be in the second round i think still second at that or point maybe the third i'm not sure I yeah i think it's the second round so we'll we'll see we'll be in one of those rounds and we'll we will be doing not be drinking one. four things though so that's we that might. is what this is the last day of drinking four so i'm right. excited for this to be done. <laughs> yeah, no more doubleheader matchups. Uh, or we five, will see. because I'm doing a warm-up. <laughs> Ken V says it wasn't at the Waller Shine that took you someplace you didn't want to go. Oh, Absolutely yeah. right. Anyway, no, I should I shouldn't make such I feel like I'm too expressive with my likes and dislikes. No, I think I, it's was, fair. I was just like, oh yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> which isn't very I mean, it was fine, which is not again, not something that you really want to hear when asking, should I purchase it? Like, it was fine, which means yeah, we've had some that have been clunkers, yeah. um, but that's the nature of this tournament, you know, and hopefully you're watching this going, okay, now I see bottles that appeal mm -hmm. to me or, you know, if you see these bottles, especially because a lot of them are pretty, you know, local to various regions or whatever it might be. Yeah. If you, uh, if you see them, you'll know if you want them or not. So uh, hopefully we're helping there, but <laughs> Bill, we'll see about scoring uh, <laughs> semester points for you. We'll see. Uh, you might, you might've gotten yourself something. We'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But Thanks, thank Bill. you, thank you very much, Bill. <laughs> Cheers. You'll see your uh, beloved Starlight tomorrow again. She is back, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It's with uh, the first day of round two when we drink just two glasses two. a piece, and it's oh man, might actually. Uh... You might get less. I mean, I should say this because you're watching, and then maybe you won't watch. But I was like, it might be less funny because you know, by the time I'm drinking, I'm, I'm glass four, I'm shoot, yeah shooting from the hip. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, when we only drink two glasses, it's a little less, uh, I don't know, I guess it's probably more intelligent discussion. Yeah. Pick, should have picked up the rock town I saw it at Benny's. Ooh. Yeah, you know, the um, especially the bottled and bond. That one, I think, was going to appeal yeah. to the broadest audience if you see that bourbon. Yeah. I think it's good. Um, Rags, today's stag made, made me sad that I don't have more stag. Mm -hmm. Be glad that you have any stag. That's what we've learned. It's, we've gotten 50 comments today on that and on Instagram, on well, YouTube and Instagram that said, never even seen that bottle i know and we are and i do not say this lightly but like we are very uh, uh, thankful that we can even and yeah. that we get it at msrp as well because i i mean you know we would pay more for it as well too but we don't have to so that is very nice right the, uh, so steve says it fills a bracket buster katie turk and and christy who are sitting at the top of the bracket would like a word uh <laughs> Because um, I think Christie's only missed one bottle the entire time for it's me. Incre it's, it's actually incredible considering the choices that you've made. Yeah. <laughs> Which, if you go by like, you know, when um, you do like Final Four, what's it called? Uh, Merch Madness. Yeah. I always pick by what states I would want to move to. I mean, unless you, you know that there's like three or four winners and then everything else just go, do I want to go to vacation there or do I want to live in this state? And that's usually how I pick my bracket. So maybe mm -hmm. that's how, at least Christy, Katie, I know knows her stuff. So money, Mike, I believe went, uh, he chose for one of us, he chose the bottle that was produced closest to Louisville. Yeah. And for the other one, he chose the bottle that was produced the furthest from Louisville. Oh, funny. So <laughs> I'm actually interested to see how that plays out. Yeah. Cause I think he's somewhere in the middle right now. <laughs> <laughs> Slapshot's here. Cheers, Slapshot. Welcome. Diploma said, not wearing pants, but drinking bourbon. Love I think it. you're doing great. Winnie the Pooh? Winnie the Pooh style? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we mentioned, because mm -hmm. Katie's on today, she, is she sitting in first or second? She's in, in your second, bracket? just behind Christy at the moment, right there. Killer. That's yeah. awesome. 
Yeah, the catbird seat, some people call that. I like that. See, I you never want to be in the lead at the beginning. You just want yeah. to come from behind and steal it, right? right? At the very end. Yeah, you sneak up when nobody's looking. Yeah. Um, one thing that I also want to add uh, is that uh, a lot of you have been saying, like, I have no idea what's in my bracket. Um, we oh, do right. have we have links for all of you. So um, if you if you need your link, if you didn't get the email, it went to your spam folder or whatever it might be. If you need one, send us um, an email at thebourbonvan at gmail.com and we will send you your link back for each one of your um, your brackets that you filled Entries. out. Entries. Thank you. Yeah. Matt, your wife has gone over the holidays? All of December? Man. Oh. That's too bad. That's either like a good thing or a bad thing, depending. <laughs> well, we'll have a, we'll, we've got several live streams uh, for, well, we had one last night for Patreons. We've got another one coming up for us or for everybody a week from now and at least one more Patreon live stream this month. So we'll try to keep you company as much as possible. Yes, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Um, and I almost just, just cheated. Did you see that? I, I was just getting I all excited. I almost the same thing earlier. I know. I, are you guys ready for this challenge? I'm going to pop up the... Uh, well, yeah, we have two. So, and I like to take a little break in between. Agreed. Um, but we didn't say who's... So you said who is in the lead for your bracket, but not mine. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Let's take a look real quick. Because I... Rem mine is... You've got... Who else? Wendell. Magoo himself. Yep. Wendell with... Wendell's is almost perfect. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh, oh and... Actually, and, uh, I'm a tie, right? Two with 24 points. That's pretty... That's really good. Yeah, Wendell's only missed two bottles. Same thing for uh, Mr. KP from NC, nice. tied. And then Bill. Bill, Bill doesn't like my bracket, but he's sitting there. Third with, place. With, well, yeah. Or yeah. tied for a third. Tied, yeah. yeah. Uh, sitting there on yours looking like. Love it. He's just uh, licking his chops on that one. I know. All right. Unless well, it says Julie's ready to start. Julie's always ready to start. Uh, let me introduce these bottles real quick. Oh, there's Paul. Ports and Booker's 2020-01 for the occasion. You're doing it right, Paul. Cheers to you. Nice. And uh, Paul, I just said, I think you're one that's not totally sure what your bracket looks like. Can't remember. Uh, send us an email and remind me, and I'll send you links to your brackets. I didn't realize that I could do that before. Now I can. Um, okay. Round one. Day eight. Last day of Last round day. one. Uh, the bottles in this, both matchups today, by the way, are again absolute proof nightmares you've got oh yeah we're starting with old elk blended straight bourbon the mm -hmm. second i believe lowest proof in the entire tournament besides the mictors rye um old well, elk blended pretty straight, good old elk blended straight bourbon it's 88 proof aged five years bought this bottle for 45 bucks it is mgp with possibly other sourced whiskey from either new york or colorado is our understanding mm -hmm. it doesn't say on this bottle exactly where they got it from um a lot of people tell us that it's MGP straight up, but online, we that's the best we could gather is that it's from at least one and maybe three different states. Yep. And, uh, uh, and being that it's blended, that makes sense. Yeah. And great cork game. Solid cork game. Yeah. yeah it's an antler, not a tree stump, like Which we is, originally thought. Even today, I was like, man, it's a great tree stump. And he was like, no, remember, that's what we said last time. <laughs> and it's we, not. <laughs> we are occasionally slow learners. Okay. Uh, the next, next man up, as it were. Mm -hmm. Jim Beam product here, Booker's 2021-02 tag-along batch. We've barely touched this. We I had one, I I had had one, one sip. sip. Yeah. I poured it, and you had one sip, and I finished the rest of the glass right. because I'm a gentleman. Uh, 127.9 proof, six years, five months aged, $70 bottle, bought it in Indiana. That bottle costs us 20 more dollars, and it's way harder to find here in Oregon. So yep. um, actually pretty stoked that we were able Thanks, to get that Indiana. bottle at all. Yeah. Um, so 88, 126, 127? 127 to 88. Well, you might know right away just by that alone. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to know what we're sipping. And uh, I really hope that it's not a complete bloodbath. Um, both of these matchups. Actually, I will say this know. one is a bit disappointing for me because, I mean, I had to, in all seriousness, have no idea where this one will go Same. just because the flavors are going to be so different and everything about them is going to be so different. But they're both such excellent sips. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh -oh. Totally agree. I, we And again, we only scratched the surface of that Booker's and we found it to be very nice. The Old Elk yeah. um, was one that uh, I did my own review of because you were busy that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really, really liked it. And... 
Uh, well, you've had it since then. You liked it too. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm losing my train because I'm trying to think about the past and when we had these things. And like I said, slow learner. Let's do it. All right. So two glasses. Ernie's uh, a cat. Pick mine. We'll see. <laughs> well, they, how did a cat fill out the bracket, anyways? No thumbs. I, well, just all you need is just the tiny little, on the, on tiny the, little uh, beans. Right. Yeah. We did make it easy. You didn't have yeah. to type it in. Yeah. Okay. You just cheers, Ernie. Bounce and bounce. All right. I'm uh, gonna start nosing the glasses. I'm gonna clean. Cleanse my palate real quick with some water. Mm. Interesting. Pleasant. Uh, all of the bottles have been, all the glasses have been poured, by the way. <laughs> the nose on number two is like very sweet compared yeah. to nose number one. Nose two almost smells a little bit clay like. Oh, and I'm getting. Banana candy. Yeah. Yeah. Like all banana candy. That's Maybe all I'm getting. Like a that. little bit of a sarsaparilla. Oh, it's nice. I don't actually know what that is. <laughs> I thought it was like some sort of cactus. It's more like cream soda. Oh, it's a drink. <laughs> I thought it was like a plant or something. Sorry, guys. All right. Um, try them. Let's do it. I'm going to start with glass two. Oh. Because glass one. Is very. It smells very spicy. Well, I want um, to. <laughs> well, then you, anyway, I want to drink what you're drinking. So, all cheers. right, let's start with glass two. Cheers, cheers everyone. Thanks for coming. Good luck, too. Man, banana. That nose is weird. Hmm. It's quite flavorful for. Mm. As thin, no, it's not. I mean, I don't. Know, I always say it, things are thin, but it, it, it doesn't. It's not. It doesn't coat. But the flavors are long lasting. I can't believe that candy note that kind of came across on the palate as well. What are the What are the opaque white lifesavers? Not the minty ones. The pineapple. fruity ones. They're like the fr pineapple ones, yeah. right? That's what. That like right down Main Street. That's what that was. That's, I think, if not my favorite lifesaver. I think so too. It might be my favorite after yeah. it's either before or after the cherry. I go wind to mint right after that. That's right. That's weird. You That's don't really right. like mint. I know. Mm. Mm. This is going to be an unfortunate match matchup because they're both delicious. I bet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is uh, sugary. It's oaky. It's candy like. I mean, mm -hmm. white sugar is what I'm getting here. Um, there's not much spice on the palate at all. It's it's nice coating, mm -hmm. doesn't hang around all that long, but what you get on the finish is mm -hmm. that pineapple candy, at least for me. Yeah, and I'm getting a real nice oak. The finish, I would say, I mean, it's a light finish. There's definitely a finish involved because, you know, I'm just sitting here and kind of enjoying just the little sip that I had. Yeah. Definitely bourbon flavors, right? Like you're getting the vanilla and the caramel, the oakiness. It's interesting. It's, it is very sweet, sugary. That's, candy, it's more candy notes than fruit notes. Yeah, it's really nice. I, I like it's it a lot. Nice. So that's glass two that we've yeah. been sipping, by the way. Um, oh, yeah, we cheated and went <laughs> glass two. First. Well, I went, I went glass two because I have a hunch that it's mm. the lower proof one. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruby didn't drink anything tonight that's in the, the battles because she didn't want to jinx it. Fair, oh, that's a good idea. Fair idea. Good idea. Yeah. Um, There's some nice vanilla in there now. Peter's here. Welcome, Peter. Yeah, absolutely right. Mm. Yeah, the vanilla is nice. What do you what do you reckon on the vanilla? Is that mm. it's not vanilla bean, right? More like an extract. Yeah, I think more like an extract. Everything's a little bit artificial in this mm -hmm. glass. I do like it though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. Bill says that that's the cactus. Get, say that word. Cactus. No. Oh. <laughs> Segu <laughs> uh, saguaro. Did I say that right? I think it's se sewar sewaro. Oh, like a sewaro, like like a J in Spanish. I think so. I can somebody, roll my R. Somebody let us know because sewaro. Because there's a nice. That sounded nice. There's a there is a um a national park. I think it's sewar sewaro national park, but it mm. might be a sewaro. I don't know. We I've never actually had to say it out loud. Mm. I'm pretty sure I heard somebody say it that way once though. Mm. Nice. Peach Coke says butter rum lifesavers are the best. I would go. I don't know. 
think I, I might go along with that. I really do like those, but they're it's in like a brown get, caramely package, right? I think so. They're yeah. they're yeah, they're brown caramely. The thing about them is that they're so sweet Tan, that it, you can only have one of them, and they're so cloying. Like after two or three, you're like, I don't want to see these again for a while. Whereas some of them, I would. Uh, like the uh, pineapple ones, I could probably eat an entire roll of. Yeah. Because um, I have no self control. I like that every time we do a live stream, there's a, um, uh, what do you call it? A, like a vocabulary lesson. Yeah. <laughs> I like how to say things. A, linguist, a linguistic uh, lesson. Thank you, Kimberly. That's very, very <laughs> nice of you. That, that uh, makes me feel good on our uh, yeah. matchup tonight. You on the glass, glass one now. We went from glass two to glass one. I haven't done it yet. But I'm I'm ready to give it a give Ooh. it a whirl. All right, now I'm getting some more stuff on this one. This opened up a little bit. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. Oh boy. Yep, it's warmer. It's a real nice finish on this. I mean, like a real nice finish. And that was my first sip. I mean, it lasts a long. <laughs> Lasts a long time. I can feel it still coming back. It tastes a little like um. I actually tastes a little like I don't know if it's like burnt oak, but like or like yeah. There's really nice deep dark oak that comes across on this one. It's weird because this isn't a, a flavor note that I give a lot, but I gave it last night on our Patreon live stream too. This is like the richest, darkest, spiciest pecan pie. Ooh, I like that. I, that's it's just it's screaming with richness and sweetness mm -hmm. and intensity. I'm just mm -hmm. going to sit here with the finish. I was going to take another sip, but I don't know why I would. That it's so mm -hmm. there's so much intensity there. There's hang on, little... hang on. I want to I want to just check in real quick to make sure. Sawaro. So Oh, so no G. So you were closer Sawaro. than I was. So war. Okay. Mm -hmm. So war. Thank you, Bill. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think that's the second time Bill's given us an English lesson and I appreciate it. Sorry. Back poor, to the tasting. My poor aunt would be so disappointed. Well, I mean, she's an English teacher. Um, I'm getting a little bit of a toffee note on this, and which is kind of interesting. I can actually taste that on the finish. I can get mm -hmm. that. Little, almost like um, this is the season. I was gonna say, like a little um, peanut brittle because it's it's quite a bit sweeter than I was expecting this one to be. Yes. Um, but not in like a cloying sweetness or a candy sweetness. It's just, it seems like lighter flavors. You know, I mean, I'm sure we know which is which is which at this point. But There's very little doubt, yeah. You know, I always expect a lot of like heavy peanuts or nuts and stuff to show up. And I'm not actually getting that. I'm getting such nice oak on this. Yeah, a lot of oak. And it's a more a cohesive little... as like a recipe instead yeah. of just like nuts and then some other stuff. Yeah, Usually, right, exactly. I will say if this is what we think it is, and mm -hmm. do we just want to come out and say what if we think it is? Yeah, I mean, I think the first glass is bookers. Yeah, but... glass glass one is the bookers. We usually get fruit, some sort of fruit, yeah. some sort of perfume, mm -hmm. something of that nature. I'm not getting that here. I'm getting like oak and and brown sugar and rich, rich. I don't even I hesitate to say caramel. It's darker than that. I uh, I almost feel bad because when we picked this up. You know, I mean, Booker's, people love it, of course. Yeah. Um, things that have, like, that nutty taste, not always my favorite. This is not something I always go for. Mm -hmm. And I always enjoy drinking. We have one other Booker's. And I always enjoyed it, but I wasn't, I'm not, like, a huge Booker's fan, I guess I would say. So yeah. it's not something that I would just, like, grab off the shelf, whatever. And so I was almost a little hesitant because I'm like, ah, it's probably just going to be, like, really nutty. <laughs> and then I had that one sip, and that obviously wasn't enough. Or I wasn't, like, in a a mode where I was trying to like figure things out. Right. Yeah. It's good. Like, yeah. it's really good. And there's real vanilla in here too. Like yeah. vanilla bean, which you would find, you know, in a properly made uh, pie and all that. I don't know. Super good. Uh, Katie says that uh, she's also not drinking because they're heading home from Kentucky. Well, safe Ooh. travels and congrats. Hope you picked up something good. Well, congrats on picking that barrel, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, oh my with gosh. the Mash and Journey yeah. yesterday. Yeah. That must have been one heck of a fun time. Congrats on that. Yeah. And, and safe journey. Safe travels. Yeah. Bill says that Saguaro National Park Tucson. in Tucson. Oh. Well, that sounds like a place that I want to go to. Yeah. Heard good things about Tucson. Melissa says, try rolling your G's again after the fourth whiskey. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Well, I, love, we, I love the idea of rolling a G. We're going to come back to it. Which I think uh -huh. I did actually try to do the roll of the R in the wrong spot when I said that originally. Right. Man, I'm going to have another sip of this glass one before we go to glass two. I just, <clears throat> I've been taking tiny sips and sitting with the finish. Yeah. And man, there's a lot of goodness happening here. Yeah. Take one more tiny sip and then I'll spend some good time with glass two. Well, and I, I feel like I've said this before, but. Sometimes when we do matchups, or at least maybe not so much here in this tournament, but when we do like the four blinds, like I spend almost too much time with each glass, right. then it starts to like shift what I really feel. And so this time... You, you can't trust yourself. Right. And so I'm like, oh, that glass that I hated originally is now amazing. And so I'm trying not to do that in the competition because I really... Not that your initial thoughts are, they're definitely not always right when it comes especially to this, but a lot of times they're somewhere right in the middle that like yeah. nails it. And then if I wait too long, then I'm like, wait a second, that Sagamore spirit should move forward. Right. Oh boy. <laughs> that was the most shocking for me. I mean, we've had some shocking matchups and some things sneak through. That one blew me away. Yeah. That Ezra Brooks is dangerous in that competition and so oh, is the Sagamore. So like banana i mean i didn't, <laughs> didn't get bananas on this before but it is literally all this nose is it's like banana bread oh all of a sudden it's banana bread you're totally banana right banana bread it's like yeah and it's it's gooey. like the banana bread that you make yeah gooey banana bread yeah it makes good banana bread by the way mm -hmm. well this gives me a nice feeling here well there's a lot of sugar because it's uh either my mother's recipe or my grandmother's recipe and they didn't hold back on the sugar back then <laughs> yeah there's no like butteriness or salted caramel or anything like that on this bottle mm. or on this glass there is an earthiness though but there's almost like a weird like green freshness to it too i can't explain that mm -hmm. um it's almost like it's almost like hanging out in your salad crisper drinking whiskey mm -hmm. it's still it's i will say i'm not gonna make a decision i mean whatever yeah. this this is <clears throat> this is a bottle we think that's what's in glass too this is a bottle i really wanted in this competition yeah. It's a shame it ran up against what it did. Yeah, my glass one is going to move forward just from the overall experience. I mean, and just that finish alone. I mean, if, even if you took all the flavors out of it and just concentrated on the finish, it is stellar. Like, it was so delicious. But I will say this glass number two beats out some of the ones that oh, were moving forward to, gla in I, round, to round two, and it kind of breaks my heart. I absolutely agree with you on that. Yeah. Joe's here drinking Booker's 2021 04. Haven't even seen that. We haven't seen anything besides this 02 right here. Yeah. Um, well, welcome, Joe. Always glad to see you. Mm -hmm. Whiskey Nose. Marty, what's going on? Hey. What are you drinking tonight? Well, let's find. Well, sorry. Are you moving forward? Plus, I'm just assuming that you're. Well, I've got really... so much cat fur in my glass and nose here. I'm just trying to spend my time. I'm actually loving this because. Didn't drink all my glasses, which is always kind of nice. Sometimes when I like things too much, then I just, you know, drink them all. So I think I'm going to save these for the yeah. after party. Oh, I love that idea. Well, I know where I'm going to. I will. I want to give a compliment to glass number two here before yeah. we move on. It it coats beautifully. The mouth. What is glass that. number one? <laughs> so it's, it's not. not. Uh, glass two coats coats absolutely beautifully. Yeah. Um, really nice finish for 88 proof. That's bananas, I'm literally sad. on the pet taste and figuratively because it is just crazy. It tastes like banana bread. So it's much crazy. banana here, <laughs> uh, but that old the, the old elk we think that is it is a really nice whiskey for that low proof point. Yeah. Um, if I was going to give somebody who, like, if I was going to give a bottle of whiskey to somebody mm -hmm. this season who I didn't know real well, but I knew that they liked whiskey, but I didn't know if they liked high proof stuff or what they're yeah. really into, that old elk would be. That that's a suitable gift. Love it. It's unique. It's nice. Is it something you can find on the shelf? A, we've I've seen it every, kind of everywhere we went. Oh, I know it's not okay. totally out there, but it's a lot of places. And this uh, blended straight bourbon whiskey, quite good. So yeah, uh, you're you're. What are you moving forward? Glass one. Same. Okay. Uh, glass one is a. I I try to be more neat with my. You did great markings. I got to find the page. Here it is. That is. Bookers, yeah. as we thought. So, um, farewell to Old Elk in this tournament. But I don't think we can say enough good things about it. That yeah. is, um, that's very lovely. I'm, I'm a bit sad she's not moving to like not in this matchup. But yeah. I'm a bit sad she wasn't in one of the previous matchups Man. of the last. Can seven you imagine? Days. 
Yeah, that, oh, well. that one could have gone a ways, but doesn't matter. It's out now, and uh, that is what it is. So we hope that you had that one picked. Let's swap out a couple of these. Um, yeah. And keep Such a nice label. I will say the, uh, the bottle and label game is on point with our first round. Yeah, everything that we have today, I, I actually kind of dig the labels of. Um, okay, well, as you can see, another... Proofy beat yeah, yeah, down we do have matchup O2, here. So, oh four for Booker's is that already? Yeah, they usually do four a year. I think the last year they only did three. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, Katie says we were actually driving into the trailhead, Old Forester Barrel Proof last night that we we shared a sample with them, and uh, glad you enjoyed it. We actually just finished our first bottle of that 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 sample came from. We just finished yep. that bottle two nights ago. Yes. And thank goodness we have a backup because that is, I agree, so good. Yeah, it's it was good, good whiskey. See, then, I, then I have to come out to Trailhead and try all of the 800. Oh, my goodness. Not 800, but like 10 like single barrels that they have. Welcome, Tim. It's always great to see you. Yes. Uh, yeah, the Trailhead right now, Ezra Brooks, which is in this tournament, yeah. which I think is delicious. Uh, they have a Rebel, which is delicious, mm -hmm. the 10-year. They have a Woodenville pick. That's one of my top five bottles mm -hmm. of the year. They've got uh, Buffalo Trace, which is delicious. Yeah. So that's crazy. Um, they have a Knob Creek Rye. Whistle pig. They have a whistle pig. It's crazy. Like, I can't believe our little small, I mean, I they would call it. They have an old elk weeder. I know. Weeding, I, I wheat whiskey. I call it a town, but technically it's a city, but it's smaller than Chicago. So everything seems like a town. Um, yeah. And it's pretty incredible. I mean, cause we're like not close to things. <laughs> right. So I feel. No, like, it's great. Thanks guys. James Norwood's here, by the way. Cheers. James, good to see you always. Oh, I'm going to move these, by the way, so that I don't, not how many glasses I have, so that I don't start drinking them. Katie, let us know. Keep us posted. Um, yeah, she says they love the Woodenville, the picture out of this world. Completely agree. Um, mm -hmm. Everything cask strength we've had from them, we have loved. So, mm -hmm. <coughs> all right. I'm um, going to, as are, we're uh, setting up for the second matchup and chatting, I'm going to go back to this uh, Driftless Glen. Mm. It seemed to do well for my palate for the first one. It's, a, it'll, it's good for resetting because it doesn't taste like anything else on the table. I will say that the next matchup, pretty light in color. Well, Considering one's a rye and one's a bourbon. All right. Let's see here. We've got uh, Grumpy O Farts here. Army or Navy? I don't have a choice. Or a preference, I should say. We're talking football? Um, I don't know. I always think everyone's talking football. <laughs> <laughs> the blue-gray game? Isn't that what it is? Or blue? Well, they just call it the Army-Navy game. It's always fun. All right. So I've got some specifics here on this matchup. Would you like to hear them? I would love to. Thanks for asking. That is a very <laughs> nice thing. And you know, you'll read it and they'll be like so eloquent. And I'll be off looking at the cat and forget and ask you what the proof points are again. I guarantee that's going to happen. <laughs> Starting with this little guy right here. It's our second Jim Beam bottle of the night. The yep. first being Booker's. Yep. Uh, this is matchup number two. So this is Jim Beam's pre-prohibition rye. New bottle this year, by the way. 90 proof. Aged four plus years. Don't have specifics on that. Bought that bottle for $23. Yeah. I like You were uh, excited about it. I, I you was. you it here? Uh, the first time that, yeah, I bought it here. The first time that we had that. We were up. We were camping at Mount Rainier, mm -hmm. and we s skipped out to some tiny little town. Oh, I love it. To, it was like to a go block. have some dinner and grab a drink. I love that. The only thing behind the bar that I hadn't had yet mm -hmm. was this Knob Creek pre pro or uh, I call it Knob Jim Beam pre prohibition mm -hmm. rye, um, and uh, they brought it out, and I thought it was yeah. pretty impressive um, for what it was. So I uh, was excited to try that one. Can I? Uh, you know how I like to interject with flavor notes? So By the, all means. The Driftless Glen, which I originally just said tasted like honey roasted nuts, and that was it. Um, now, a little bit of coffee and chocolate mixed in. So, I don't know what happened in round one, but change the flavor of the Driftless Glen. I agree with that, and mine's gone. Finished it. Beat me. Did it? Did it? Never happens. Never happens. Rob Gould is here. Cheers, Rob. Hey, Good Rob. to see you, man. Welcome. We're just about to start match two. G dubs here, better late than never. Look at you. My water rocking game. that uh um oh, nice. Oklahoma 
State Cowboys. Yes. Okay, State, right? You do like your mascots. I love the mascots. Love it. We did some, uh, side note, we did some t trivia at a local place, and we had to double down in one category, and we doubled down in the mascots, and we got whatever it was, six out of seven or seven out of eight, whatever it was. We got seven somebody, out of eight because... But somebody got all of them, so we didn't get the points. I got seven but. out of eight because, for whatever reason, my brain broke, and I couldn't remember BYU. Oh, um, Yeah. Cougars. How did I not remember that at the moment? I think we put some other animal. Anyway. Uh, all right. Good uh, story. Sorry, guys. <laughs> bottle one, Bottle one, which we introduced seven and a half minutes ago, was Jim Beam free prohibition ride. <laughs> totally. Bottle two, Heaven's Door Cask Strength Single Barrel Bourbon. Uh, this is one we picked up in our travels from uh, Main Street Liquors of Nashville. And we bought a lot there. So Main Street Liquors, we're sorry. I feel like it, they just keep making an appearance. I, I feel like maybe they, <laughs> I hope that you've been able to restock since we were there. Um, it was impressive. Uh, let's see here. 120.5 proof. So mm -hmm. 30.5 proof points difference. Same, uh, same as the first one. Same as it ever was. Six years age. So at probably around two years aged, mm -hmm. more than the first one, and $65. So price-wise, proof-wise, age-wise, who knows? Totally different. And this is a BR distilling bottle uh, sourced from MGP. Mm -hmm. And the reason we know it's uh, sourced from MGP because it says it's from Indiana right on the side because a lot of these Heaven Store bottles do come from various other places. We know they have some Dickel. Um, our understanding is that BR actually has some of their own or they're sourcing from somewhere local there in Tennessee. So we don't fully know everything about these bottles, but this one is MGP based, 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% uh, malted barley. So um, excited about both of these bottles, quite honestly, because for the price, we think that this Jim Beam rye is quite good. And for Heaven's Door, we haven't had a bottle yet of it that we haven't enjoyed. So I know, and it's surprising to me because I'm not a, a gimmicky drinker, um, but we've already gone through a bottle of Heaven's Door. The double barrel. Pre previously. Double barrel, yeah, it was great. Everywhere we went that had a Heaven's Door uh, single barrel or store pick, we tried, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be honest, like we loved, I liked this one, and then we tried another one, and then I was like, I like that one more, and then Phil told me I had to cut it, which never happens, but we had bought I, he's this like, bottle. we don't need like four Heaven's Doors on the on the shelf. Right. If you're in the neighborhood <laughs> outside of Nashville, uh, Tariq, at, Tariq at Elixir has yeah. a great a great bottle of that, but we, I mean, we were spending a fortune, and I was trying to like stop the bleeding. Which never happens. Like, I'm always, anyway. But Cheers I Cheers to you, Eric, by the way. I Good to see you. Thank hey. you for coming on. Ruby says, first time she's seen the Heaven's Door bottle. It is pretty. Yeah, all their all of their bottles are really, really pretty. By, by the way, what everybody seems to probably know, or maybe you don't know, this is the Bob Dylan brand. This is one of those celebrity yeah. bottles. Um, and the, the design on the front is the same as the gate that Bob himself, one of his art forms that he celebrates is welding. That's the gate on the front, at the mm -hmm. front of this distillery that he apparently has welded. So Sweet. I like it. There you go. If you ever want to see that in person. Uh, that's where you go. It's either that or at his house, but I don't know where his house is, so I can't tell you. And we've also seen Bob Dylan in concert many, I mean, do they do it again? Here it comes. Many a time. Many a time. That's but, the thing. Does anybody else use that phrase, but many the first, a time? But the first time. I you are like, old timey. Maybe I'm old timey. First time, Illinois State Fair, which seems like a weird place. And I wonder if he was like in a weird in between. In a between phase of his career. No, that was a fun place to see him, I thought. No, I thought it was amazing. But and it was also cool because just... the storm kicked up right when he played um, All Along the Watchtower, yeah. which after Jimmy died, Dylan's band plays it the same way that Jimmy's band played it. Minus the, I mean, they do the best they can with the guitar work, but um, he, he plays a Jimi yeah. Hendrix style now, and that was pretty cool. No favorites here, but we've seen him in concert at least five times. People dislike his voice, but we're fans. Yeah, we're fans. <laughs> yeah. Knock, 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 and absolutely welcome, Watchmen. Yeah. We got a welcome. couple of uh, Canadian folks here tonight. Heaven's Door. This I agree with completely. One of the few celebrity bottles that's actually good. Oh, good. Um, I feel like really bad, like saying that I like it so much because yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just not on the well, train. Well, a lot of it's sourced from Dickel, and if you don't like Dickel, you wouldn't, you know, you probably wouldn't like that. Sure. But like the uh, double barrel um, that we had originally was an MGP one, I believe, mm. and the one that we tried recently was a Dickel one. They're both great. They're just yeah. great in different ways. Mm. Joker man, absolutely. Here you go. 
many I have, oh you have used it i thought for some reason i thought you said you have not and i was like oh it'll be like the knock your socks off this is a phrase that i probably yeah. use more than well what about the one you said the other day uh ne'er do well ne'er do well like she's never heard that's of ne'er -do -well. way older like old time year than... do you think yeah you guys sure. weigh in on that yeah that might be a patreon, yeah, -do -well patreon versus, poll later yeah whatever here's some nice trivia from wendy yes Good to see you, Wendy, by the way. My what? godparents were roommates with Dylan back when he was still Bob Zimmerman. They still have his purple crushed velvet piano bench. <gasps> That's the coolest thing. That's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> yeah. We don't really nerd out about musicians all that much, but well, he nerds out, but yeah. I do. Yeah. I mean, I I like I stuff. I like crazy facts and stuff, but that is so cool. Don't ever let wow, that go. That is that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. All it also right. makes me think of the documentary we watched probably 15 years ago. That was amazing. Okay, so enough about him, and that doesn't change our, it's not gonna change what happens in this matchup. I'm just, I like music and stuff. All right, okay. I'm ready to notice these glasses. Yeah. Wait, All I'm right. gonna take some more water. I've been trying to clear I'm my palate a lot. I'm gonna take some more water. Well, I'm gonna I've take on some, <laughs> some liquid yeah. nutrition. Take on some hydration. Actually, before I we do that, that so. um, I'm going to update Oh, really gosh. quickly, in the real brackets time? in real time, so you guys know what's going on. We chose Booker's in the first round. I'm saving that right now to both of our um, brackets, so that you, you don't you don't have to. I know a lot of you're sitting there doing math or clicking all kinds of. You don't have to do that. I got you. All right, we're gonna save these changes. See how Katie's doing. And then we're gonna go back and calculate and tabulate. Look at Wendell got it right. Of Look course, at him go. Yeah. All right, we're gonna save that on Wendell Julie's. KP? We're going to yeah. calculate, and Christy, look at her go. She got that one right. Oh, Katie. Katie, you're right there. You are nipping at heels. Ken V directly behind. Man, look at Alaska Bob Eater standing there, just hiding out in the background. I feel yeah. like he's chewing on a toothpick, just like waiting. I don't know if I don't know if Alaska <laughs> Bob likes toothpicks or not. Uh, I like to think that. What? <laughs> Seems like something that happens. I've taken on water many a time. See this? You're doing. <laughs> I was taking off. Was that what I said? I took it you off. Are, you are yeah. a skilled live stream watcher and participant. Norman standing on the keyboard over there. Uh, oh, you coming yeah. this way, buddy? He said, You guys talking about music? I can play. No, come this way. I'm worried the cat's going to jump into you while you're sipping there. What are we drinking again? <laughs> oh, goodness. It just kind of spews out. <laughs> I, I, there's that way with words that she's talking um, about every i'm not gonna i'm not lying here every new year's you know you come up with stupid resolutions that you never keep keep for like a day um every year i'm like i'm gonna start thinking before i just like vomit words out and i just don't have that filter i just don't i just <laughs> like i just just works spew, great for a live stream let me tell you yeah i just spew thoughts without having them all categorized in my brain i think norman would like to hang out but he can't figure out a way over all the dickle bottles locally here we have a group of friends and we're having a dickle miss uh celebration on saturday so we've got everything organized for the party and it's hard for the cat to get around but here he comes oh now he's sneezy oh bless you i think he does have a little bit of a cold you think i don't know could just be all the dust <laughs> all right so glass it one was wet why are you wet ew <laughs> glass oh. Okay, sorry. Glass one has a bit of a rye spice, I think. I dug down deep on this one. I mean, like I, there's I, a little. Uh, I wafted. Spice. I like kind of like wafted all the flavors out. Sometimes and there's hear... there's a dark, like almost like a dark black licorice. Not even just like your jelly huh. jelly bellies. See, I hear people say orange spice sometimes, and I always think, is that orange peel? Is it orange zest? What are you talking about? Yeah. This is the first time. That I feel like I've tasted something and went, oh, that's orange spice. I feel like I get it with this glass. This is an this is actually a very unique nose. I think it's interesting. Yeah. Have I had this one before? There's not very much gone, so this might be another one where I, uh oh. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. Uh, this might be another one where you were like, you gotta try this because it's in the competition, and I <laughs> slammed it back or something. <laughs> so, slammed it back. That's a that's a classy girl right there. Yeah. 
Look who's here. Lyle, late to the game. Didn't know how much further I fell in the tourney. Well, I just updated it. It's live on the site. Everything's updated. Hopefully you're doing well, Lyle. Hopefully everybody's doing well tonight because um, these bottles here are they're pretty bold. All four of them are pretty bold. We're on to matchup two, by the way. These noses are... I don't know if it's because of the sweetness of the first matchup. These are bizarre noses. Glad I think glass two has some uh, some nice bourbon notes to it. This is a, there's I a little know. cherry spicy or cherry here. There's a there's a little bit of oak on glass two. This is going to sound just horrible, and, I, and I'm not meaning it in a terrible in like a it's it's not, I'm not meaning it in a bad way. But when I smelled glass number one, I thought I was walking into a room that had been like like that had been wiped clean, not a hospital. In my head, I'm thinking like a funeral, but like, uh, but like that was yeah, just like right. very That's sterile. Right. No, it's not, but it's like a very sterileness to it, like very clean, but had like some like artificial, like artificial that. cleaning on it. Gosh, I wonder which one this is. <laughs> Actually, that's terrible. Well, terrible smell. That's on top, and then but that is also the one that I'm getting like black with. I get at the end. oak and 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 light brown sugar. Glass, glass two to me smells amazing, and um, it wins easily on the nose for me. Um, it's getting a little woodiness on glass number two. Julie, okay. stay non-chill filtered, or oh, I like this. Or non-chill filtered. Nice. Watchman brought his A game tonight to the live stream. Everybody, I want to definitely Watchman nine ninety nine. We're appreciating it tonight. Yeah. Cheers, man. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. <laughs> okay. Yes. Cheers, glass number one. Hey, cheers, guys. Are we there doing we one right? One, okay. yeah, yeah. Got, actually got some nuts on that one. A little bit. Some some uh, um, sweet, like, because uh, I, I, I just said honey roasted over there, which kind of is coming across like it's like almost like a honey roasted nut on this one versus like anything that's too salty. What is that? What is it? orange slices? The candy? Yeah. The, the sugary. Mm -hmm. They come in the little container. That's, that's all over glass one here. I'm actually surprised by how sweet that is. There's a little nuttiness here, but... Um, Oh, it coated completely, and it it tastes like I just ate a bag of those because it's like that's what I'm getting lingering in my mouth. So this is what I found very interesting so far about this competition. We say it all of the time that drinking, no matter what you're drinking, it could be bourbon, it could be rum, it could be beer, it is, comes down to personal preference mm -hmm. and your taste buds, apparently, because I feel like this entire competition, like I'll say something, you're like, I'm not getting that at all. I'm getting orange peels the orange peel candy and i taste that and i do not get that flavor you don't get orange all. slices there no there is a but more, i might get it the, like in a couple sips right well the second glass is more bitterness but there's yeah. leather here wait did you try the second glass or the second sip sorry oh. uh bitterness a little bit of black leather on that second sip it's spicier but i'm having trouble identifying that spice mm. i need to start cooking like baking or something go for it i'm probably not going to yeah <laughs> tis the season Dead last on Phil's bracket, fifth on Julie's. That's hey, pretty much matches up. You only up need one, right? You only need one. One is all you need. Yeah. Feels like a song, too. One is all you need. One is all you need. That sounds like something from, uh, what That's was that Beatles, Beatles song. song? Right, the Beatles song. Uh, Laboratories pretty much covers everything from the coroner's office to all health and forensics. I that get that weird just walked into the dentist's <laughs> office feeling every time I go to work. Yeah. Tim, are you a dentist? <laughs> <laughs> I would that would be amazing if you were. Yeah, and I would have paid you a lot of money last year or the last two years. It's terrible. Genetics are the worst. Bill's yeah. got perfect teeth. Never a cavity in his life. It's very that's, annoying. That's not totally true. <laughs> also, at least half of one of my front teeth is not is not a real tooth, anyways. Yeah, but that's not your fault. That was a field hockey. What was it? Sixth grade was hockey. Field hockey. <laughs> well, isn't field hockey indoor hockey? <laughs> no, it's played on a field. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> Gym class, how about? All right. Yeah, love is all you need. Close enough. They came for this nonsense, not the what's happening here. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Yeah. I mean, 
the first time I met Phil, he was like, I'm going to make you dinner. And he made mac and cheese. I did? I feel like if maybe, maybe it was like the first time. Yeah, probably the first time you cooked. And then it was hard as a rock. And he was like, I don't understand what happened. And I said, well, did you boil the water before you put in the macaroni? And it was like space cadet. Like, what is it? Like, what does that mean? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's why this is not good. I feel like that's the extent of your cooking. Yeah. You're, a good, you're a good barbecuer, though. That feels very I'm good at a lot of other stuff. I don't need to be good at food. All right. <laughs> Tim says he works on biomedical automation for all of the above. That sounds smart. Biomedical automation. Ooh, I just had that's just a nice too. phrase to say. I, I know. Thank you for putting that into my lexicon. I appreciate that. Ooh, glass number two tastes like. So I'm getting. Oh, glass number two. Two smells amazing. Now I'm gonna take some water. Glass here. number two. A um, lot of cinnamon. I'm almost getting like, almost like a laffy. T not a laffy. Sorry. I'm almost getting like a candied apple. So it's like a you know like in the fall you have those apples that are like have the caramel around them. The... Oh, caramel apple. Oh gosh. Nailed yeah. that. Wait, I think they're called candied apples. Yeah. I I don't know if there's a difference between a caramel apple and a candy apple. Well, anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. But that's what it tastes like. So, like, the apple with the delicious car melted caramel on it. Oh, this is And so cinnamon. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That's what I'm getting on glass, too. I also want to say... I hate to say it, but that's the second matchup tonight that... Oh, it's very good. It's a... <laughs> very good i also want to say that it came across like i wasn't appreciative of your mac and cheese effort i very much appreciated your mac and cheese effort i just thought it was funny like, phil's mac and cheese effort yeah fail failure of of mom not to teach you how to boil water <laughs> she's not watching so i can say that no she wouldn't she didn't <laughs> um actually i think it was a frozen ravioli that i picked up because that was that what somehow I... feels worse. Yeah. Because yeah. there's like meat inside. Mm. This is good. When I this is Ruby the... had the right idea. She's with me on that. Mm. This uh during this last <laughs> week. During this last week, one of the things I've been trying to remember is like if I pick something up and I say, mm, that was really good. Cause that's like a, that's actually like a involuntary reaction. I mean, I, I'll say that like, if I'm talking to you, I'm like, oh yeah, I really liked this. There or are whatever. things you have worse involuntary reactions <laughs> to. <laughs> totally. But this one, I just realized what I said, like, mm, that was really good. And then I yeah. put it down while you were talking. So I feel like I already don't have a decision. I do too. I, I hate to say it, but that was sweet, cherry, sugary Crap. deliciousness. And it's too bad because I'm going to return to glass one once I clear my palate because I, there's a lot to like there. It is I, funny because like, yeah. we don't have the – I do like when, when you're watching the day where you where you can see us, you know which one we're drinking. The non-lives. The non-lives, right. We can know what you're drinking. So I guess you actually don't know what we're drinking. Yeah. <gasps> Wait. Not glass number one. Gosh. I hate when something smells so familiar and you can't – there's a perfume. There's almost like a wine. Like it almost smells like walking into a candle shop. Mm. I haven't done that in like seven years, but you never forget. It's traumatic. It's, tra it's kind of traumatic. Mm, of the week, it says here. Hello Fresh is the way to go. We did that for a while. No, with, we uh, did Blue Apron. Apron. Uh, I tried Hello Fresh once or twice. It just gets difficult. I actually liked Blue Apron, but we had to substitute so much stuff. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do my A/B testing. We'll see if we need to do that. There's only two glasses. Uh, Jeff says the Redwood Empire Grizzly Beast Bottle and Bond is pretty tasty, but a youth on the front of the palate, good spice, some good caramel flavor on the finish. Uh, thank you for sharing. I'm always interested about their their stuff because we really like all three of their main uh, offerings. Regs cooks dinner for his wife on the first date. Way to go! Mm. Our first date was actually at Chili's. And, and you know the chilies we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I had, uh, we had the Southwest egg rolls. So, so, strawberry margaritas. Strawberry margaritas. Which I still, to this day, it's like the most sugary thing ever, but I, 
Well, they rim it we in had, sugar. We probably have not been to Chili's in like 15 years or something like that. And Southwest, or, or uh, uh, what was the chicken dish with the noodles? Oh, Cajun chicken pasta. Yes. Mm. Awesome. By the way, I saw a place down the road on 3rd Street when I was over there the other day at the yeah. liquor store. Because when I leave the house, I go to the liquor store. Um, That's li literally the only time I leave the house. There's a um, uh, there's a place on 3rd Street that is Cajun and Blues. What? Yeah. Is it new? Maybe. I didn't catch the name of it. Well, I mean, I was talking to a coworker today, and she's like, hey, we're going to X tonight. And I was like, yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> like, we're so, I can't believe how out of it we are. We live in a vacation town. And so when you go out. It's actually the perfect be, time right now because like we little... haven't had any snow. So there's only locals here, which is yeah. very nice. It can be overwhelming. Just there's tons of people around. So I'd rather keep it. You know, stay in the house. It's very, mm -hmm. it's more intimate. Mm. James, you like that Long Branch? Is that the wild turkey one, the Matthew McConaughey bottle? I don't know. Um, I think maybe a higher proof would do that one good. It's the finish on that one that always gets me. I'm not crazy about the uh, that smoky uh, mesquiteness of it. Matt says Affy Tapples. That sounds right. Oh, oh yeah, we used to get those in school all the time. Remember? So I'm. Uh, sorry, I'm going to go back to the competition so that we can start chatting again. Um, yeah, let's get back to the tasting here. Th this is an interesting matchup, I'll be honest. So glass number one is interesting. I got some nuttiness on this, and I did say at the very beginning, honey and roasted peanuts, it's a lot sweeter. There's I, a little fruit on the finish there, too. A little bit. There's a little... Well, yeah, because the last couple of sips I got reminded me of a wine. Like... I, I think that's right. I agree. reminded me of like almost like a box wine, not like a from the like a expensive winery or anything, but like we we totally sourced the uh, Kirkland box that's, wine, best bargain in the in the game. That's yeah. sitting right over there. Yeah. That's what we always have. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's there's it's just a little like not even the tannins, just like a wineness of about glass number two sure. that I find very interesting. Or glass number one. Uh, glass two, I really love that caramel apple taste. The sweetness. There's a good vanilla. It's nice because I it's like the oakiness there. Because the spice and yeah. the there's a hint of like dark oak there, like really supercharred, super dark oak that balances out that nice sweet. Like the sweet hits out in the front and then it balances out on the back. And then the finish mm -hmm. lingers for an eternity. Man, if glass number two isn't what I think it is, then we're broken. We're gonna have to cancel this channel. Yeah, we're gonna shut it down. Anyway, so I'm gonna move forward to glass number two with with the caveat that for what you say this was, the eighteen dollars? Twenty-three. Oh, twenty-three dollars. It's probably eighteen dollars somewhere. Um I will say the Jim Beam pre prohibition well, we'll get to it. Um, yeah, it, it let's let's look at what we glass got. Glass number one was very interesting. Yeah, glass yeah. two it is B. Let's make a decision here. I never here. even double checked our glasses when I moved them forward. Heaven's door. Yeah. Single barrel cask. How do you guys do? Um, I'm going to update you right now. I'm going to do it in real time. Watch this. The magic of the internet, alive and well, right here at the I Urban know. Van live stream. You can't believe it, and neither can I. I know Melissa's always watching, too, and I haven't seen where she's at on our um. Yeah, Melissa, how's your bracket list. time? I'm always looking for Ruby. And I, now I want to look for Melissa as well. And again... Look at Christy. She's still leading. Look at her. She had a perfect day. Katie had a perfect night. Ken V hanging in there. Bob Eater. Alaska Bob Eater with the toothpick hanging in there. <laughs> Ed right there. Look at Rob. Local Rob hanging in there. Let's hey, do yours Bob. real quick. I was going to say... Oh, Yeah. Ooh. Oh, we got a switch Look up. here, a shift, a change at the top on Julie's bracket. KP from NC oh, just jumped in front of Wendell, who must have had um, that pre-prohibition yeah, ride. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter. Sure enough, he went all Jim Beam in tonight's matchup, and that's the difference. Um, wow. Okay, so a the top I saw juggled Bill, on your end. I saw Bill Becker in there. Tied for third is still. Hanging in there. We'll say, I mean. Phil took Julia out to Chili's for the first date to help spice things up. That's a that's a great, that's my kind of joke right there. That is his kind of joke. I love it. Thank you, Regs. Yeah. 
Yeah. This happens every I did. day, whether I we're doing the video just, or not. You know what's so funny is that, like, the first two glasses were very enjoyable, I'll yeah. be honest. And I have, like, I mean, we can pour huge pours tonight. I have, like, half of each glass left, and I was like, why are these empty already? But I think it was because now we're four glasses in, and now I'm just chatting, and then I just get into the rhythm of drinking. The rhythm of drinking? My goodness. Why is this cat just sneezing nonstop? You all right? No, he's fine. Oh, boy, he's up to something. Oh, <laughs> he, is up to, he is up to something. You cat owners can imagine. <laughs> uh, Bourbon of the Week calls out his uh, Heaven's Door single barrel cask. Um, I, I have to say, Ooh. I know that a lot of these are from Dickel. Some of them are MGP, but they explain on the side exactly what they are. Yeah. Mashville wise, product wise, where they come from. They are fully transparent. And I love that about this brand. I do as well. I like, I like that there's no digging deep. I mean, yeah. And that's BR. And the Google machine. The Google machine. Yeah. That's BR distilling to a T as well, because. Uh, we have a couple of the bottles from them back here. We have this Blue Note Juke Joint Whiskey Pick right here, also from Main Street Liquors. Uh, we have uh, the River Set Rye right here, which was uh, from Elixir. Mm -hmm. uh, those are all BR. They're all sourced from different places. Um, two of those are Dickel. Well, one of them's Dickel. Two of them are MGP. They are all fantastic. Mm -hmm. So um, we we you know. I think one of the lessons that we learned this year doing this channel that we didn't know before. Pretty much MGP source stuff, awesome for the most part. Yeah, I've been very much yeah. enjoying it. There's one bottle that was MGP that I was really not impressed with. Mm -hmm. It was a local one that picked a barrel. Um, they picked it to source for their product um, because their product wasn't ready or wasn't approved yet by mm -hmm. the uh, TTB for the labels. And it was two years aged, and it just wasn't great whiskey. Yeah. It was sold for more than it was should have been sold for. So. Um, that's one thing to keep an eye on, but when you know the age of it, the MGP stuff, mm -hmm. pretty fantastic. Yeah, they're doing. I think they're doing a good job. Yeah, I can't um, complain. Well, I'm going to stick around. Do you want to stick stick around for a bit and enjoy our glasses that are finished here? I do. We'll I still have my. Other Can you guys ones. hang out for a bit? Hey, so I just want to say from the competition tonight, I feel I feel like it was a, it went a, not better than last week because last week was fun as well. Um, I was nervous about this week actually. I was too. Because I totally there was, was. There was like four bottles. Of, I mean, literally four bottles in there that I was like, I felt like should move. At least three of the four should move forward to the next round. And so I was feeling a little guilty that they were in competition together. I'm happy with, with where it ended up. Yeah. There is a little bit more pressure when you're doing this live to make, not to make a, the right decision, but just to make a decision. Right. Um, I completely agree. And because if we make a terrible decision, you'll let us know. <laughs> Well, it's easier to ignore it, you know, like, but I feel good about it. Like, I love that we move bookers forward. What I, did I get wrong for you, Lyle? What did you choose? <laughs> what did you choose tonight? Oh, no. <laughs> I hope it was the old elk. It couldn't have been the pre prohibition rye. You had to know. Yeah. Come on. Know. But I do feel good. Like, Heaven's Door, I don't know if I haven't really been dropping hints over the last <laughs> couple of months, but I, I keep like saying, like, I like Heaven's Door. <laughs> hint, hint, move it forward. Not that I knew what it would taste like tonight, but it was really good. And that Booker's, I couldn't tell you that I would like it or not like it. And mm. I was pleasantly surprised. It's almost like the least Jim Beaminess of all the Jim Beams that I've had well, in the not, competition. Well, not just that one, but this Jim Beam pre-prohibition ride. Yeah. Very un-Jim Beam-like. It almost, re oh, sorry, I was going to do I this. just finished that class. But it almost that. reminds me, you know how like the old Forrester ride is like, Cherry candy. Cherry candy, like a Jolly Rancher candy. And you're mm -hmm. like, you wouldn't know this was a rye because it doesn't follow any of the like rules of rye. This one almost, except for that licorice note that I was getting on the finish, it doesn't really follow a lot of the rules of rye. Yeah, I don't have any mash bill on this or anything like that. Um, so I don't know if this is, because because the the Old Forester one we know is a barely rye, right? It's, it's like 51% rye malt. My gosh, this smells just like wine. Is that the it is weird. Yeah, the pre-pro. Yeah. It's so weird. Not weird, but it really does smell just like wine. Hmm. I like this exchange right here. Can can hang? Can you hang, Mr. Becker? Yes, I'm right next to you. We awesome. We we love our couples who who <laughs> enjoy this channel. We really, honestly, we get such a kick out of it. Norman 
looks a bit sad over I'm there. I'm terrible, Phil. Wait, Lyle, can, are we allowed to search by Lyle? Do you want to have a look at what Lyle's up to? Should I share the screen? No, you don't have to share, don't share the screen for Lyle. I just, like, Lyle, I feel like. Look at the Phil has disappointed me all tournament. How dare you? Well, because I realized Lyle had, I think it was Lyle, right? You sent the message that, like, Julie, I feel like I don't know you at all. And I was like, but Lyle, this was the easy, the easy the matchup. Easy. Like, whatever matchup it was, I was like, wait, this was the only one that I was kind of sure of. Now, hang on. Lyle's right in the middle here. Oh, good. So the, the points only go up, right, right, Phil? Yeah. Yeah, the next round starting tomorrow is four points instead of two points every day. So expect that the things are going to change a lot. I'm just looking at what I else chose in here. I'm just digging through. <laughs> I will say it's tournament time. And no hang on, hang on. I, I, I got to say something a while. Just hang in there. The bottles that you've chosen at least the ones you've gotten wrong, only went one round for you. What do you mean? Like he chose a bottle. It wasn't the bottle that went through, but then he's got it getting beaten in the third round. Oh, I see round. what you're saying. So okay. Like, so there's still a chance. Yeah, what are so you you're doing, saying? Man? There's you're still okay. a chance. Hang in there, Lyle. You're all right. Everybody's okay. And I'll say, like, we have not rec So <laughs> we were perfectly honest that said we... <laughs> <laughs> that we had recorded some of the first round before, obviously the last last week's live stream to get this up ahead. We are desperately behind right now, so we have no idea where the next few things are going to go. Right? Yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna, we're going to do. We're desperate. I mean, like this morning we got to do some drinking this weekend. I think I woke up at like three thirty, and I thought, "Wow, I thought we were in good shape for the tournament, but we have a lot of recording to do, and I have drinks." You know, we have a live stream tonight. I have drinks with my work people tomorrow, which I can't tell you, which is good. Oh, good. We can record like yeah. seven videos. We've got like a, a dickleness party on Saturday. I was like, we got to get going. Mm. Get our recording uh, done. All right. This this bottle of Heaven's Door. I drink the, mine. I can't believe you have so much left. It's spectacular. Well, Maybe. I was working on the pre-prohibition ride just because I want to be absolutely sure that it wasn't, you know. Yeah. I want I wanted to be sure. I drank a lot more of the old elk that I did than the the uh, bookers either. So can I? I overthink your overthinking. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd probably do the same thing to you. I will, <laughs> I will say I just pulled back this um, Driftless Glen. I'm gonna leave to the side because I really want to finish with my old elk um, bookers. Yeah, out of the five glasses we tried tonight, I would say the Driftless Glen brings up the rear. Yeah. Yeah. Which I feel like it's not. It's a single barrel pick. It's an oddball. So don't write off the distillery based yeah, on that. Yeah, I mean. Because, I mean, all the other channels out there love Driftless Glen. I think we just got a weird barrel. I will say that one we tried, the single barrel, I don't know if it was Starbuck. It might just been in Chicago, was really good. Um, but these two, the old elk and the bookers, I'm happy to end my evening with these. Yeah. They're very good. I'm going to finish my old elk so I can end mm -hmm. the night with this matchup, which is what you're going to see just a few days from now to end For the real? second round. This, these two are going okay. against each other to end the second round. These are good whiskeys, <laughs> for those of you that may not know. Uh, Melissa says, can you pick a whiskey from the last week that would challenge the stag? Mm. Holy cow. Let's look Wait. at the bracket real quick. Yeah, please. Yeah. Not the bluegrass. <laughs> not the starlight. Not the Michter's Rye, not the Maker's 46 cask strength. So the first bra the first so, bracket's out. So what's interesting about the stag is that I've, I've, I've said this in more than one video, where if stag junior was available at one MSRP, 50, like 50 bucks. It's yeah. crazy. Even if it was like 65 bucks, I don't really care about that. Um, if it was just available and you could get it at any time, you would just have it as your daily drinker. I just think there's yeah. something very pleasant about that that line that's not like crazy over the top. I feel like we put a lot of emphasis on it because they, this is just me speaking, not like the general, not even Phil, but I feel like we put a lot of emphasis on it because you can't get it, right? So anything that's allocated is like, right, is a little, whatever. but also, when but the we flavors left are Chicago, just so lovely. When we left Chicago, you know, we spent quite a bit of time in Kentucky. When we left Chicago, Buffalo Trace was probably our favorite distillery because yeah. it's the one that we tried the most stuff from, and we always yeah. liked it. So, all right, so let's, um, it has a special place. But, geez, 
Because we so have, going we have... down the Nulu toasted rye is very good, but I don't think it's stag level, even no. though it costs literally double the cost. So what's interesting is I'm not 100 percent sure there's anything in the competition that's gonna that's gonna really fight it for the title. No, but I just kind of like glanced two seconds over my shoulder and I saw that Chattanooga. Oh, that's and good. Chattanooga, I thought. We finally got to pick up. We cannot get it here. It's not so. I don't know if it's not sold here. We just can't we get can't, it in this get area. Oregon, Oregon is um, I love. I literally we barely ever drink it. Yeah, we but I it. really like that, and I'm interested to see what that kind of matchup would go because the first sip I had of that, which sometimes you know your neck force can be a little bit tough. Mm-hmm. I was sold. Like I was and like, I oh my gosh, what better. is this? This is amazing. I like it. I actually think the flavors would kind of pair up yeah. pretty well. I think my brother's one. on his second bottle. This he says it gets better. Yeah. Um, Cal Farm Fifteen is a bottle that's improved every time we've got it, but I don't think that that's on Stag Junior level. It yeah. might be worth a shot. Not the Weller Foolproof. Not the Rock Town. The Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel String. There's some bitterness in the Four maybe. Roses that I'm, I'm hit or miss about. Um. I actually don't hate. I don't, I don't think that there's anything else that heaven's door flavor profile the heaven's door flavor profile might be the only thing that's even that would match up with it maybe the bookers but i don't Could think you scroll so. down now <laughs> sorry <laughs> well no there was something. i don't know if there's anything in the tournament that would compete with it so i will say that for interest yep. reasons the fray ranch does not compare in terms of like palette to finish by any means. It's no. very young. Yeah. I just find it so interesting. Like the free ranch I find is so interesting. Kind of like I mean all other products are delicious. Let's I think say that. I think Stag is a very it's very bourbon focused, right? Like the flavors are legit. Yeah. You're getting exactly what you expected except elevated. Which I think is like amazing, and if you can get it for like what we can get it at fifty bucks, I mean, people spend thousands yeah. I mean, for it. I mean, we've all had disappointing barrel proofs. Yeah, that's but, not disappointing. But I think what you want for something that's allocated is something that is not only delicious and you love it, but also something that's a little bit different. So this, if you put Frey Ranch, obviously, in my opinion, if you put Frey Ranch against the Stag, the Stag is going to win. We could try a Cask Strength. Yeah, this deck's going to win every single time. But I think if you think of it in terms of more functionality or like, mm-hmm. you know, on like a base level, I know, but like a base level, I'm like, Frame is doing some really interesting things. Totally. Like, it doesn't, even to me, it's like, I think, I'm trying to remember because we have recorded a couple of videos after this, but like, it, you know, there's like some um, flavors in there that are really interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, that I think are really, that could compete, right? Like, so, like, you're going from bourbon to something completely different, but they, they bring them up, almost about the same amount of joy. I disagree. We're going to, we, oh. one thing that we're going to do for our Patreons is we're going to record yeah. a video at some point this month where, because we're going to do a best of 2021 video, yeah. oh, wow. where we're choosing things yeah. from various lines. So we need to pick between, say, Stag Jr., mm-hmm. Uncut Unfiltered Smoke Wagon, mm-hmm. Um, maybe the Russell's 13, stuff like that. We're going to do those type of comparisons mm-hmm. to see what what's going to survive. Yeah. That's going to be Patreon only until we release the actual, like, yeah. you know, favorite, our best of 2021 list. Yeah. Um, even the Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strength, even though that's that's a single barrel, so it's a little funny. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to be doing some of that stuff um, down the line here. But, yeah, I mean, Stag Jr., what could compete with it in this tournament? I don't nothing, think anything. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. And and I'm just thinking of like something that's really interesting and pleasing that we're putting in this tournament. Mm-hmm. That I thought could like give it like almost like like butt heads with it. I think it would be interesting. I think, to I think do... Stag Jr. would still win. It's just yeah. very delicious. Unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunate. Like I, I I've been thinking about Stag Jr. versus 1792 foolproof versus yeah. the benchmark. I, I just as much as we like that benchmark, yeah. foolproof, I think it probably gets beat up pretty badly in that competition. Bill's yeah. a tease, makes you think he's picking something, then chooses the other. I think it's just the editing, Ruby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a tease. I Julie calls me a tease all the time. No, I actually said this. I don't remember which matchup it was, but I was like, holy smokes, 
by how you described what you were drinking, I it thought- It was the Willet Pot still. I mean, I thought a thousand percent you were going for it, and you didn't. That Willet Pot still, <laughs> by the way, I think I said it in that, in that video. Yeah. If you are writing that off because it doesn't taste like it used to, try it again. I know that it's an expensive bottle. We got it for 48 at the distillery. The last time I saw it on the shelf was in Colorado for 70. I wouldn't spend 70 for it, Holy but if you could get it yeah. for like 50 to 55, I think it's good whiskey and the bottle's beautiful. So I do kind of feel like now, Eric, cheers. Thank cheers, you. Eric. Norman, Holly, and I are juiced. All right. Yeah. Cat party. Cat party. Uh, cheers, Eric. Welcome. And um, if you didn't catch up, uh, we just updated the site with the, with the scores and the bottles. These are the two winners tonight. It's Booker's and Heaven's Door. And I'm happy. Beautiful. Absolutely. Actually, I mean, we've said this before, like some weird things have moved forward, but I'm excited about the round, round two and where it's going to go. I actually have like no idea. Mm -mm. We have not recorded. Dude, no. last year's matchups were crazy. Yeah. Last year, we had no idea what was going to happen. You knocked out 1920 in the first round last year for Makers 46. So a lot of you that are upset with me right now would have been way more upset with her last year. Not fair. There was only 17 people watching <laughs> last year. <laughs> True. Todd's here. Welcome, Todd. It's good to see you. You're doing great. Thank you so much. We are having so much fun. Hey, with this. nine in my bracket's pretty good. I do feel like I've been a little bit more streamlined than normal. Everybody's overthinking everything. Wait, I forgot. How did I say you can't buy points? Don't you dare say your overall. How did what did Lyle do today? Yeah, I forgot. We were just looking. Oh, that's, how many... that's what we were. Yeah, that's what we were coming for. No, he's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got one out of two. Well, you'll be fine. <laughs> Is there a fine? I don't know. About I don't this know. Yeah, finishing fine. Yeah. Can that you... old overhaul one one four. By the way, Can another I... bottle that we've only seen once. We bought it off the shelf at Main Street Liquor in Nashville. Had I had no idea how good it was going to be. We loved it. I want to say, and I'm putting my elbow in the table for this one. It looks like you're being very thoughtful. I cannot believe it. I literally. Yeah. The bottle and bond, which Phil told me, like, you have to be more specific, <laughs> more specific about what you're talking about. Because I'm always like, that old overall is terrible. If you said OGD, you would specify which one. Totally. I totally would. I don't know. There's something about, I just figured I'd hate the whole line. And so the old overhaul. 114. I'm I was very reluctant and still I I reluctant about how good that was. I can't believe it. Old Overholt needs a better name. OGD 114. One of the reasons that OGD is so cool is because you say OGD. Yeah. What do you say for old overhaul? Oh oh. Maybe. It's hard to say. Oh oh one one four. You heard it here first at the Bourbon Van. Oh oh one one four. <laughs> I just kind of like it. Might be one of our um, yeah. surprise. It, it's going to have to be on the surprises of, of the year list. Are we doing that? Probably. Can we do it next year? <laughs> Can we do it in January? <laughs> Probably. Thank you so hey, much, thanks, Ivan. Ivan. Cheers. Hey, and, thanks for uh, doing good in my bracket. Thanks. And just thanks for filling out brackets to all of you. Thank you so much. Totally. It really is. Um, We're just having a fun time. Yeah. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's supposed to be fun. Just I like everything am, else in life. No, I actually am having a really good time. Yeah. It really is an interesting... I. This is where my brain's not catching up to my thoughts. Um, I really do attribute what I've chosen this year to our Five Sip Friday program. Program. But like our Five Sip Five Friday... <laughs> I'm thinking like in terms of advertising, so like campaign. But like... Five Step Friday started because our Patreons gave us these amazing samples. I wasn't expecting it, or we weren't expecting it. Wouldn't it wouldn't exist without them. Yeah, yeah, and it was so amazing. And it, it it actually made me, because I am definitely one of those people that are very like, this was amazing, forget about it. This is amazing, forget about it. The Five Step Friday thing made me try to remember that wild turkey tastes like cinnamon or... This tastes like this, you know. Jim was, was more of a right, so at least I could like start honing in skills. I think it was like the Mash and Drum who did a video last year. It yeah. was like you should spend a week or a month just drinking, say Jim Beam, right? One distillery. So then 
yeah, that distillery is just like forge in your mind and you'll always know if you taste these flavors, this is what you're drinking. That's a lot of commitment for me. <laughs> but I've been trying to do that on our five sip Fridays and I think it's really actually helped me in this tournament. Yeah. To be honest, like to be You sussed little... out a couple of brands so far this year that yeah. you never would have done that before. I was really no. I was impressed. And so in this tournament I am trying to be more like there's no old forester actually in this tournament, or which is turkey. kind of shocking. Or wild turkey, which very much made me sad. Um probably made this a little bit more or less predictive, I guess. But I yeah. I do like that, you know, I feel like going through this process, I feel like I'm being a little bit more discernive. Discern. Discernive. Discernive. Yeah. Discerning. Discerning. There you go. Yeah. Third time. Um, I'm realizing because the last two classes that I have in front of me are these two bottles, this is going to be a really tough matchup. It's gonna. It's we're gonna. Do have they to, go up against each other next round? Yeah, they do. Yeah, that's how, this, is this is just, how it works. How that's, random, get to... that's random. That's random. This is a perfect matchup. One hundred twenty-seven point nine versus one hundred twenty twenty and a half. That's true. It's barrel There's strength all... bourbons against one another. This is the matchup. This is what that provides. Wait, so is this the uh, fun? Is this in the final four? Or is this a uh, no, 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 no. This is the last round of two. What is it? Sweet um, Sixteen. This is. Round two, two, four, six. Because this eight, feels like a 10, final tour 12, matchup. 14. This is the 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 salty sixteen. Oh snap! Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, we looked we're getting ahead of us. Went from thirty-two to sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got a month ahead of us. Yeah. What are you talking about? Um, this feels like a this feels like a final four matchup. Right yeah, here. I agree. I agree. Versus I think that this 16. is sixteen. That's kind of. Well, if you look at these two bottles, will go up against the winner of Jack Daniels Rye and Frey Ranch for me, mm -hmm. and Very Old Barton One Hundred and Frey Ranch for you. Well, actually, that actually seems like a kind of a fun matchup. Yeah, looking ahead to the next round, there is a ton of mm -hmm. more weird matchups to come. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, it's been it's been weird. I also want to just like say, look at this, look at. Look at what a gentleman, what a gentleman would say something like that. I also think that he's doing pretty well in your, your, uh, bracket. Whatever he's doing, you, he's a gentleman. I, you Thank you. To... What a sweetheart. See, that's the kind yeah. of stuff that I appreciate. Greasing the wheels. I'm not going to change any scores now. <laughs> Eric feeling a bit under the weather. Feel no. better, Eric, than stealth watching. Perk up a bit. Yeah. There you go. He's feeling yeah. better. Just watch a little bourbon van. You feel better. Yeah. If, if there's better. any videos you missed, go ahead and watch them. You'll feel so much better. Mm -hmm. uh, cheers, Eric. Just today we got a comment about, love your channel. I think it was more about Norman, though, than the two of us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fun. The Red Man. The uh, Oh, it's winter time. Lyle, you never know. You never know. You never know. It's the like. Red man, the red, that was my, that Five Sit Friday video. I feel like it was when our channel was like, we were doing well, we were figuring out who we were, and then that guy walked past, and I was like, oh, we're just silly. Yeah. Perfect. So, you know, um, I don't remember, what is that um, car show? Top um, Gear? Top Gear, yeah. So it was, and it's not, I don't remember which one we were watching. Did I get that right? You totally did. Because <laughs> I keep thinking about the Robin, the three- Oh, the three wheel car. That That's is, how it got me into Top the Gear. The Renault Robin is hilarious. Yeah. And then I think they did an American Top Gear and like more. But the Red Man reminds me of like a Top Gear esque video, <laughs> like where something like completely insane Just happens. Nonsense. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Regs, cheers! Thank you so much for joining us. We are happy you were here. Yes, All you thank East you. Coasters that are hanging out, we appreciate it so much. I know you do kind of feel a little like it's only six thirty here. Just the beginning of our evening. Bill says you should give something to the person that does the best combined. If somebody won both, we were definitely going to do that. I don't we're, know if we're sure. going to do that as a com combination. We probably should. Be for me. Probably should, but that requires us to do math. I'm going to make Julie do it. <laughs> I'm pretty good at math, actually. Oh, Peach Coke, here you go. Oregon's going to have Overholt 114 on Friday. I'll take a case, please. Do we want that much? Wait, is we that want, not... We want a bottle. 
Well, we bought it on our trip. So is right, that, we, bought, we got it. That's Main not available here yet. Main Street Liquors in Nashville Wait. is literally the only place I've ever seen it in my entire life. So, so it's coming to Oregon already. That's crazy. Are you saying we're influencers? It's <laughs> terrible. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> This is why we do our road trips. To be per to be perfectly honest, like we want to see all this country is just ridiculously beautiful, spectacular, you can't and believe the people it. are awesome. Yeah, the people we meet, just the scenery, it's just so stunning. Like you just feel lucky that this is where you were dropped on the map. Um, yeah, but going on the trip and getting all the little things that we can't get here in terms of bourbons and whiskeys and food. My goodness. Uh, Joe Appleton. Welcome, Joe. Good to see you. Ardbeg Uga, Ugadol. Oh, no. We're Give it a try. This is another... Hang on. Ugadol. I had it on the Monsters of Smoke Tour two Fridays ago at Trailhead Liquors. And uh, I have to say, I really, really enjoyed it. But they were yeah. wrapping up. I wanted to buy a bottle of it and have it uh, light. They were engraving it with like the UV engraving. I was going to get a bourbon van bottle and give it away. But they were wrapping it up, so I didn't. <laughs> I like it. Show me your OO face. Show me your OO114 face. Wait. That would be the worst Instagram post of all time if you guys had to see my OO114 Ooh, face. Ooh, that's Office Space, right? Yeah. It's so funny. Whenever we do Patreon live streams, <laughs> we're always talking movies. <laughs> um, what was it last time? Um, the other guys. Right. And before that, it was Christmas. Which... And before that, it was we were talking about the Untouchables. Oh no! Which you bled into Unfor uh, um, Tombstone. I mean, it feels the same. Tombstone. It's not. Yeah, I know. The, I, honestly, if you put them to... together, chapter by chapter, probably pretty pretty much the same. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. At least once a week, for like, remember that live stream we did where <laughs> I confused Tombstone with the Untouchables. And we were like, we like cry. Like it was it's just so, so ridiculous. It was one of my favorites. Yeah. Cheers to a fun first round. Good luck to everybody going forward. Thank you so much, Ruby. Ruby, just a fantastic friend of the channel and friend of ours. I know. I, I adore you. Thank the, you for following along all the time. I will tell you this much. We've received one Christmas card so much this year. I know. From Eric and Ruby. I know, right? I love it. The nicest people in the whole world watch this channel. Everybody that's watching right now, all 45 of you, nicest people in the world. Yeah. I love you guys. Yeah. Yes. I think that's fair to say. Yeah. I do too. And I don't break out the L word all that often. Never. Unless I'm talking about whiskey. Or your cat. <laughs> yeah, I do. Or Norman. <laughs> <laughs> this old man needs to get up for work tomorrow. Cheers, Matt. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us tonight and all night and last night on the live stream. Mm -hmm. You've convinced me to start the night with Booker's 2019 Old Four Beaten Biscuits. We never had that batch, Ken. Nope. I hope it's delicious. Let us know what you think of it. Also doing well in my bracket. Yeah. Ken, yeah. right there at the top. We talked about this before. You told us what Rick House that is, and I forgot what it is in your avatar. Mm. New riff? You're asking him, right? <laughs> I'm asking the back of my brain, which is um, soaking in whiskey right now, so yeah. I can't really remember it. <laughs> my face hurts from smiling. That's the goal, Melissa. <gasps> oh, look at the puppy. Wait, is that your puppy? <laughs> Wait, did we discuss this already? Probably. Probably. <laughs> oh, I just love animals. They're just the best. Oh, that's right. Ken V was at Jay Henry there in Wisconsin for that mm, one. Nice, right. nice, nice, nice. That's good whiskey, too. Yeah. Wendy says, round two, let's go. I'm with you, Wendy. I'm, let's, right. let's fire it up right now. Let's do it right now. Let's pull the bottles. Let's get into, no? Round two starts tomorrow. Right. We really appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you so much. Today was delicious, don't you think? I'm still enjoying it. I am, I am very this much Booker's, enjoying it. This Booker's, by the way, might be the best Booker's I've ever had. I like it. And I, I hate to say it's like, it. because it's the less nuttiest that I've had, but I will say that's probably the reason I like it as much. You know, the, the, the Chi Town sampler mm -hmm. sent us two bookers, one of our earliest five sip Fridays, actually mm -hmm. the red man edition. Um, when he walked past that, um, those, those were my favorite bookers that yeah. I've tried until now. I think this might be that 25th anniversary edition mm -hmm. and the last of the round table bottles. Yeah. I think that this might beat those. This is, this is fantastic. 
I'm happy. I there's there's been a couple there's been a couple matchups so far in round one where I've been a little like not that I'm not pleased that it's moving forward, but just a little like, ugh, all right, fine. <laughs> I feel good about today. I do too. I absolutely do. And these two, these are behemoths. Yeah. In different brackets, these two could have met in the final. I cannot believe they're going up against yeah. each other next week. That do is not, sad. Do not miss, <laughs> that is very miss, sad, actually. <laughs> this video where these two go against each other is going to be crazy. This is going to be, yeah. I mean, 120 versus 129 I actually didn't think, proof. I don't think I knew that, but they were, that's sad. 127 versus 120 proof. And and they're both absolutely mm. delicious. I love oh. both of these bottles, quite honestly. It's going to be a shame to see one of them go. Um, yep. But that is happening... Seven days from now? Eight days from now? Eight days from now. Seven days from now. Sure. I have no idea. I'm bad at uh, numbers and math. Um, either way, we're going to be back next Wednesday night. What? Well, yeah, that'll be a fi final live stream of the year. Of the year. Oh, because well, otherwise... Final public live stream. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, because otherwise we'd have to record a video after the live stream. So. Um, I'm excited. Is that the 16th or the 17th when we're back? I can get out my calendar. Yeah, I don't have anything out here. I think it's the 17th, which would be day one of round three. Um, the fifth, well, next Wednesday is the 15th. Is that what you're saying? Oh, what next Wednesday is going to be Jack Daniel's Single Barrel Rye versus Frey Ranch Bourbon for me and... For you, Frey Ranch. it's gonna be Frey Ranch versus. Oh, we're finally Barton. drinking something. Similar. Okay, so that's so that's next week, next week Wednesday. That's yeah. what that's what the matchup is gonna be. So next week Thursday is gonna be this match. Yep. Okay. Oh, All we did right. okay. We figured out some math. Good job, us. Calendars. Anyway, are you out of whiskey? I have a sip for our goodbye. I guess we nailed that. Well, thank you so much to all of you for being here tonight. Thank you for joining in. By the way, we hit a milestone today that I'm really proud of. Yeah, you should be. Some pe some, some of you know about this. I think I mentioned it really, really early at the beginning mm -hmm. of the broadcast. Talking about like I have a newscaster. Broadcast. <laughs> at the beginning of this thing, I mentioned it. Um, we hit 2,000 followers on uh, Instagram today. This channel started as just an Instagram photo channel yeah. on, uh, in October of 2020. So um, super excited about that. The YouTube has grown faster, but For sure. which is, you know, you prefer it because Instagram – is just photos and occasional thoughts, but um, we're really proud of that. We don't hit a lot of milestones on Instagram and that, you know, means the world to us. Yeah. And thank you so much to all of you who are following us on Instagram, a lot more outdoors stuff there when, when we were outdoors. So uh, cheers. Thank you so much. And thanks to everybody for joining us, all the Patreons, all of the other channels, bourbon of the week, Lyle, Eric, Ruby, Wendy, I'm not going to do a list of everybody. I can't remember. y'all. <laughs> But you're all fantastic, and thank you so much. And, and good uh, luck in round two, because I really think I don't actually don't know because we haven't recorded any of the videos yet. But I can't. Wait I for don't round know two. where it's gonna go, so and I'm excited. excited for you. Yeah, I I say a lot of the time that like I'm excited to see where I'm really genuinely actually excited to see where this goes yeah. from here on in. So thanks everybody for being here. Congrats on uh, completing round one. We hope you're in the top ten. Or uh, that you will be at the end, oh, anyways. <laughs> well, from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. We really appreciate it.